Hi, I'm Valerie Yo. I'm one of the aldermen in Kingsport, Tennessee. But what I'm involved in today is telling you something about our carousel project. This is something that started about three or four years ago. My husband, who died this last April, got very excited about getting a carousel for Kingsport. He comes from Binghamton, New York, and they, that's the carousel city. They have uh, two or three carousels plus carousels downtown, and he wanted Kingsport to have a carousel. He knew he was ill. I think this was something that appealed to him as some sort of a legacy he could try to contribute to the city. Um, he got a lot of people excited about it and got involved. Um, Reggie Martin, who you'll meet a little later, is one of the people that he got interested in it. Um, our own public art uh, people got involved and they went down to see a carving school in Chattanooga in Soddy Daisy actually, run by Bud Ellis. He has a carousel carving school. That created a little excitement. Um, the Kiwanis Club got, invite, uh, got invited, he probably commandeered, um, but he got them excited about it and we went from there. Um, I guess it, about in 2009, they visited his carving school and that created a lot of excitement. And then we had what we call our four horsemen of Kingsport, the, the four guys retired who uh, no longer are retired, they're now full-time carvers. They went to the school in Soddy Daisy and learned how to carve carousel horses. And not only did they learn how to carve them, but they also talked to some people that uh, work in Soddy Daisy at the school there that are carving other animals to carve animals for King Sports Carousel. So what we have here, I am now in the workshop for the uh, carousel project, and we have four people who are carving their own horses, plus we are delighted to say today is the day we have received our first horse for the carousel project. It was carved by one of the carvers from Soddy Daisy, and he has contributed to us, and we have paid him for his time and effort. And we have um, six horses total, I believe, coming from Saudi Daisy, plus the four that are being carved here. So you'll meet all our carvers and see what they're doing. And hopefully, we're in the process of acquiring the body of the carousel. And we're looking right now at one that is a, a 1905 um, 33 horse. We'll hold 33 horses. We have to carve a lot. Uh, horses and it will be located, we think, downtown at the uh, site of the new food city and our farmer's market. And so I will turn this over. Well, I'll first let you pan around and see the workshop itself. It's at the old Lynn Garden High School and it's now a uh, Kingsport owned building and we have lots of good things going on, especially in this room. Uh, they, it didn't look like this when they started. They've cleaned it up. They've painted it. They've scraped windows, and they've got it into a really nice project. So you'll have to come out and see it. We hope we invite everyone to come to not only the open houses, but just drop by Lynn Garden and come into the building and see the carving studio. In fact, we hope to encourage a lot of people to get interested in carving a horse. Um, I'm hoping to carve one myself. I've already got one picked out. It only takes about 400 hours. They're man hours. I'm not sure how many woman hours that is, but I'm going to carve one. So anyway, certainly look around the shop. Let us show you and introduce you to the four horsemen as soon as you show what they're doing here. Milton Nelson, and uh, we've been down to Bud Ellis's school, and I've, I've spent uh, two solid weeks down there. Uh, first one back in February and late last summer I went down for the second week to um, get his advice on, on the things that I was doing. And uh, we, we generally start off with the head right here. And uh, that's, uh, we start off with the head right, right here. And then we do the neck. And then after that we do the legs and uh, and then we uh, we do the we have the tail and the body is the last thing that we that we work on uh, let me show you the the tail here so that you see that this is actually two pieces of wood that have been laminated together and this has been roughed out uh, with a, a chainsaw type Thing to get the 
the general idea of things. Uh, here's another example that you can see that these are, are four pieces of wood that have been glued together. They've been roughed out and here's, here's one that um, this, is, this has been roughed out and I've smoothed it up and, and they're beginning to, to have a semblance of each other. Um, and uh, have a vice there. Uh, and here's, uh, we have pieces that, that come together. We'll, we'll be gluing them together after we work a little bit more on them. And our tools, uh, most of the work that we're doing at this point uh, require small tools. And here's a, here's a gouge and uh, to work in, in corners like, like right in here. And, and here's, this has just a slight uh, curvature in it to work in areas like this. Uh, and then we have the, the V2 to, to get in, in uh, real small areas, like getting in this area right here and carving that out right there like that and, and uh, coming up here and, and, lining, and lining things out and so forth. Um, and um, what else can I tell you? Um, what style is this one? Uh, prancer, was it? It's a prancer. Uh, this, this is a prancer style. And I think on the other side here, uh, you can see some of the markings where when I get started. Uh, it has a knife on the side, and you can see where the saddle's going to come down and all the leather work that will be on the outside of it there. The other thing to notice is uh, as you look head on that the head is turned slightly. In uh, horses you have on carousels, you have two sides, and the, and the carousel goes counterclockwise. And this side over here is the side that you see the most, and you call that the romantic side over here. And so, uh, though the picture I started out with had the horse just facing straight ahead, uh, I, I twisted the neck just a little bit to give it a, a sense of motion. So as you, you can uh, take this wooden horse and and see that it has a slight bit of motion there, activity, yeah. And uh, we really, we really like our new workshop in, in that we have the, the things to collect the sawdust because lots of sawdust gets collected in here. I'm George Gibson and I'm one of the four horsemen carvers from Kingsport. And this is, this is my horse, the beginnings of and uh, you'll see the picture over here. <clears throat> the, it's a uh, jumper, and it's pretty, fairly ornate, not, not one of the most ornate that we're doing, but uh, we started in February, and this is as far as we are right now. I'm a little behind some of the other guys, but uh, they've been a little more uh, dedicated to their carving, perhaps, than I have, but uh, it's a lot of fun and it's an opportunity to do something creative, which I never knew that I had these artistic skills, <laughs> and I'm not sure of that yet, but it, it, uh, it kind of develops as you go, and it's a, it's a working process, and it's learned by doing, and I think it doesn't take a great deal of artistic skill uh, because I'm an example of that. But we, we went down in February and to the carving school and we came back with the, the head pretty much in this uh, condition, this shape, uh, and the neck at where we've started the mane and all, uh, just in one week's time. So I, I was rather amazed that we were able to do that much uh, that quickly. But it, it takes a lot of sanding, a lot of carving uh, to get to this stage. We've got the legs and the tail and the, the main part of the body and the neck and the head all come in separate pieces and we, we glue them up as, as uh, we get them to a finished stage where that would be uh, desirable to, to, to go ahead and proceed. This is a cradle that we, we set them in to 
so that we can move them from side to side to get get them in position to do more carving. So it's one of the things that we we build. You kind of build all your tools and collect as you go in this uh, craft, I guess. Hello, I'm Reggie Martin. I'm one of the four horsemen here. Uh, I'm carving uh, this horse. He's, uh, he's relatively ornate uh, compared to some of the modern day carousel horses at least. This is in the style of the uh, Philadelphia Toboggan Company or PTC uh, type animals. Uh, I think he's a, a really nice looking horse, has a number of uh, ornate blankets and jewels on him. Um, <clears throat> so I'm enjoying working on this one. You can see here some of his legs, actually all four of his legs um, that uh, I've been working on from time to time. And one of the things about carving horses or any other carousel animal, I guess, is that you, you get kind of bored in doing a, a leg, so you'll move back to the body and do the body for a while and then maybe work on the head again. So it, it kind of all comes together at one time. So you're trying to get all the proportions right on the animal and so forth. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that uh, this carousel that we're building for Kingsport is going to be a menagerie carousel. Uh, it'll have a number of horses on it, but it'll have a lot of other animals on it as well. We'll have everything from an alpaca to a zebra and uh, a dragon in between. But uh, we'll have uh, a number of uh, animals as well as other artifacts or features that feature the Kingsport area, especially the Bays Mountain area. Uh, but we want to do some, a couple of um, chariots that might represent some significant things in the Kingsport area. One idea that uh, Ted Heilig's wife, and you'll meet Ted in a minute, uh, she had the idea of maybe doing a chariot uh, similar to the Santa train, which I think was an excellent idea, so we might be working on that as one of the chariots. Uh, another idea that's been uh, proposed is that we do a chariot like a flatboat to, uh, to bring in the Netherland Inn aspect of uh, the history of Kingsport. And then we'll, on the carousel, we'll have a number of rounding boards these are the boards that go on the outside of the carousel around the top. And we're going to be lo uh, asking some of our local artists to design scenes uh, that depict the history of carousel and the modern day uh, scenes around Kingsport as well. Hi, I'm Ted Heilig. I'm also one of the four carvers uh, for the Kingsport Carousel Project. Uh, got interested in doing this when we had a fellow by the name of Bud Ellis out of the Chattanooga carving, Horsing Around Carving School came to Kiwanis and talked to us. Matter of fact, uh, got his book over here that you may have seen already. And the horse I'm carving is one that's in his book. Uh, it's a circus horse. It's off a Herschel machine. Uh, gonna carve this horse and of course name it for my grandson, which means I've gotta do another one for my granddaughter. Uh, it's been interesting. I've never carved anything in my life before. I've done some woodworking. But uh, what to learn first is you carve first with the pencil. You draw with the pencil because you can erase as opposed to if you carve first and take the wood off, it's a little harder to put it back. Also, I use a uh, plastic model here to help with getting the proportions of the horse. Uh, that helps because I'm not the most artistic person in the world, and I've got to have something to look at back and forth. And uh, as you can see, this pattern here, it's a standing horse, where the others you've seen have been ones that will move up and down. This one will stand on the carousel for the uh, smaller children. You might also look at the pictures in the corner back there. I'm copying one that was on a uh, machine in Chattanooga. When I, or at least using it as a guide, I should say, and those are pictures of the actual carousel horse on the carousel in Chattanooga. Hi, my name is Bonnie McDonald, and I work with the City of Kingsport's Cultural Arts Office. Um, I also work with the Public Art Committee, and the Public Art Committee is really proud to be a part of this effort and the Carousel Project Task Force. Um, I want to introduce you to our first carved animal um, 
that was carved in Saudi Daisy and at the Horsing Around Wood Carving Studio. And we're so proud to have him. And he's going to make his appearances around town. We are looking for places uh, to, that might like to display him. And we will um, parade him in various parades. And uh, we're also looking for sponsors. As we have the three different levels um, within the carousel for the three different rings of animals, we will be looking for sponsors from civic clubs and businesses and individuals. Um, and we'd like to have our horses and our animals sponsored from five to $7,000. And that will help make this whole carousel project happen. Um, we're also looking for volunteers. Um, these gentlemen um, have volunteered. Uh, Valerie is uh, getting ready to carve an animal as well. And we'll be looking for more people to participate. And there's a number of ways you can help out with this. You can be a carver. You can learn how to carve an animal like this. You can be a sander. There's a lot of sanding involved. They need to be painted, obviously. But when the frame gets here, the, the mechanism that makes the carousel actually work, we're going to need mechanics, electricians. Um, we also need carpenters for general carpentry. And of course, we need help in fundraising. Uh, we need help with publicity and events. And we have um, also uh, websites and a Facebook page so that if you'd like to participate in that way, just by sharing information, we welcome you to join in with this project. Um, the studio has been transformed here at Linview Community Center by the work of these individuals. And it is a wonderful space. And after the holidays, we plan a series of open houses. So without any commitment, we invite you to come out any Thursday in January and meet the carvers, uh, take a look at the studio, and see if, you, if you'd like to be involved. In April, we'll have Bud Ellis from the Horse and Around Wood Carving Studio come back to Kingsport, and he'll probably have a public speaking engagement and have a hands-on workshop. So be looking for information about that. Um, by all means, let us know if you're interested. We have a website, uh, the kingsportcarousel.org website. Um, we also have a Facebook page, Kingsport Carousel. Um, you can get contact information there, or you're welcome to call us at the Cultural Arts Office, and that number is 423-392-8416. Valerie? Thank you all for listening in. We hope you do more than that. Um, this is a wonderful project for Kingsport. It's going to set us apart from a lot of different cities and also would be such a nice thing to have downtown for young children as well as parents. Um, as well as all of us who love horses and love carousels, doesn't matter what our age is. I'm delighted to be part of it. Uh, they asked me to help with publicity because I talk a lot. Uh, so if there's anyone that would like to help with publicity and has good ideas, give me a call. Um, I'm 341-0432. Um, we'll see you at the Santa Claus Parade. We'll see you at every other parade we can get a horse in. And we hope to see you uh, a lot of times as you come by the studio and volunteer your time and your services. Thank you very much.